What's going on YouTube? My Lark's here today. We're back for another player review. This time on Thomas Delane's shapeshifter card. Now he's normally a left back in game, but moved to CDM. So be interested to see how good he is in game. He had that winter wild card that everyone hated. It was such an overpowered card. So we'll take a quick look at his details. Obviously high medium work rates, 5'11", left footed, four star skin moves, five star weak foot. Now he has the average body type in game, obviously 5'11", it can be hit and miss depending on what they're like in game. So we'll take a quick look at the attribute details. As you can see, I've already decided with an anchor. I feel like his shooting is not good enough to really be like a box-to-box -box midfielder. So he's going to be a defensive midfielder or a left back. That is his normal position. As you can see, with that anchor chemistry style on, does maximize everything out more or less. Obviously, boost his defending, physical, and his pace. Obviously, he will be on 10 chem once I put a manager in. Obviously, as you can see, the dribbling is up to 90. Or the agility is up to 97, sorry. Composure is good. Everything's looking good. Nice passing. He's got some good player traits as well. Dives into tackles. Depending on where that is on the pitch, that can be very handy. Early cross is good as well. Speed dribbler. So, again, like I said, I feel like because of these player traits he's got, he should be quite smooth in game. Should be all right. Should be quite good in game. Now, like I said, we are going to play him as a, as a defensive midfielder and as a left back. That is his actual position in game. And, like I said, because of the work rates, because of maybe like the shooting not being as good as what other midfielders are at this stage of FIFA, that's probably going to be his best position. So we're going to play a few games of uh, foot champs qualification and let's see how we get on. Again, what a ball that is from Delane. Puts it in behind for Claude Maurice. Oh, and maybe I should have went a little bit closer across goal with the... Again, could go on either foot to cross the ball. <sighs> Should have been an assist again. Get another nice slided ball down the wing. Again, delaying on that overlap, as you can see. Not quite got the finishing touch, but again, you see that overlapping run. Here we go, coming short from the corner again. Not the greatest across crosses that time, obviously. Again, another nice ball. With Parsons very good on this card. As you can see, he's not really given the ball away yet. Again, look at the pace from Delane. Absolutely rapid. Couldn't again, couldn't quite get across in. Okay, nice defending. 1v1 beat Felipe Anderson. And nice tackle there from Delane. As you can see, already, there you go. Making the attacking run forward straight away. Yeah, you can see Delane. Look at the attacking AI on him. Already looking to make that run forward. Spotted Mbappe. Should be an assist. Yeah, he's not going to miss from there. And what a ball that is. Still Delane. Yeah, and just couldn't muscle my way through. And as I mentioned, he's very quick as well. Nice turn. Oh, it's Thomas Delane on the right foot as well. Like I said, he can go either way, left or right foot. Great bit of play. Picks up Pele. Wins the header as well, Delane. Comes back to him. Oh, and he's just rifled it over the bar. Obviously, like I say, he's not really got the best finish in Delane. So that is the only problem you're going to have if you did play him as a central midfielder. Oh, again, it's a great ball in from Delane. Like I said, left or right foot, he can go either way. Again, covering round. Great bit of play from Delane again. It's a great ball over the top as well. Obviously, Guerrero is not the easiest person to try and get round. 
So as you see from the gameplay, this card is an absolute beast. He's just a much, much better version of his, of his uh, winner wild card. Uh, if you can get this going at left back, you've got one of the best left backs in the game. You know, for some reason, this card is very meta. You know, I know he doesn't have like the, the most meta things on this game. You know, he has an average body type, which you wouldn't say is that good. But he's just so hard to get around. You know, he's got very good defensive AI. Very, very good. Dribbling wise, you know, with that 97 agility, he's able to turn and keep up with the best players in the game as well. Very pacey as well with that anchor chemistry style. Obviously, physically, as you can see, that is more or less all maxed out as well. So, like I said, there's not really too much wrong with this card. I think the only problem you're going to have is not linking him in on 10 chem. I think you're easily going to get that because he plays in Ligue 1 and he's French. There's a lot of French links in this game. I think the main problem is he's trying to get a left back and a centre mid to swap over. Now, Claude Maurice, who I've done a player review on as well, has a shapeshifter card, which is a left back. That's probably the ideal replacement, switch for switch. Maurice, I feel like it's better in midfield. Delane's better at left back. They're the two cards that I feel like are really, really good together to be able to switch. But I mean, like I said, you can play him as a defensive midfielder. I just feel like his best position is as a left back. That's where he plays in the game. And he's just an absolute crazy, crazy card as a left back. He's shooting, as you see, I did manage to score a goal. But as you can see, 72 finishing, even with a hunter on, it would only put it to 82, which at this stage of FIFA, I don't feel like is enough. So for that reason, I feel like left back is his best position. With this anchor chemistry style on, you know, the dribbling doesn't really need to be improved for what you're going to use him for anyway as a left back. Five star weak foot comes in handy. I would definitely, definitely compare him uh, to, to team of the year Cancelo. Just because of that five star weak foot, he's got a nice pass as well. So he's able to cross either foot, he's able to pass either foot. And also the ball does fall to him with the five star weak foot. It's very handy, obviously. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to give this card a rating out of 10. I feel like this card's very nice in game very strong like i said i couldn't find any faults of it we are at the end of fifa nearly so most cards are going to be very good attacking ai and defensive ai and yeah like i said really enjoyed using this card so a really nice left back if you can get him in a left back like i said if you get claude maurice in as well both two cheap cards at 80k each you know it's not really breaking the bank at this stage of fifa so yeah 10 out of 10 for for delane i really really enjoyed using the card but that is all for today's video thanks for tuning in like subscribe comment on the road to 2000 subscribers if you're looking to make more coins on fifa by spending any money on the game looking for ways to improve your team but you're not too sure how join my fifa trader server group the link is in the description below it's free to join so make sure you go and check it out guys thanks for tuning in and until next time 